Hi guys, welcome to my next tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to make the cloth spin back. For this tutorial you will need any DK, uh, DK yarn, the crochet hook 4 mm and one hanger about 10 inches long. Our work we have to start by making chain of 39. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Into the second chain from our hook we have to make single crochet. And then in each chain across. So to the end of our row we have to make one single crochet in each chain. In last one chain we have to make three single crochets one two and three and now we have to turn our work and then on the opposite sides of our foundation chain we have to start working one single crochet in every chain so into the same chain as you had the previous single crochet on the opposite side you need to make one more single crochet and into the last chain we have to make two single crochets. So now we are working on the bottom of our back. So make sure that on the both sides you've got the same amount of the the same number of the single crochets. So as I said, into the last one single into the last one chain we have to work two single crochets. One and two. Now we have to start the second row round. So into the first single crochet we need to make one single crochet. Then into the next one we have to work one double crochet. In next again one single crochet and then in next one one double crochet. One single crochet and then in next one one double crochet so at the end of our round we have to work all the way around the same pattern we're supposed to have 39 single crochets and 39 double crochets so all the way around in one single crochet and then after single crochet in next stitch we have to work double crochet. At the end of our row we're supposed to finish by making double crochet and now we have to start the next row. If you are not sure when you have to finish your row just use the marker stitch. Uh, 
and now we have to make chain one and into the first double crochet we have to make single crochet and then into the double into the single crochet we have to make double crochet and again into the At the end of our row we're supposed to finish by making double crochet and now we have to start the row number three. Chain one and into the first double crochet we have to make one single crochet and then into the single crochet we are making one double crochet. Into the next single crochet we have to make double crochet and then into the single crochet we have to make one no. into the single crochet we have to make one into the double crochet we have to make single crochet and then into the single crochet we are making double crochet and all the way around when we've got double crochet we are making single crochet and when we've got the single crochet we have to make double crochet so again, at the end of uh, our row, we're supposed to have 39 single crochet and 39 double crochet. So we have to keep repeat that pattern all the way around. So we have to finish by making double crochet into the on, on our last stitch. And at the end of uh, our uh, row, we have to start by making single crochet into the first double crochet. And uh, that thing we're supposed to repeat until row 29. So we have to do row number 3 to the end and then 26 more rows by using this pattern. At the end of our row 29 we have to move our marker stitch. We need to fasten, make a slip stitch into the same stitch as we done the last stitch, fasten off and cut the yarn. We can hide that tail now or later. Next thing, we have to fold our back and we need to find the center. So, the center of my back is right here. Don't have to be exact in the center. And now we have to count six stitches from that one. So this is the first one, two, three, four, five and six. One, two, three, four, five and six. So if you want to, so our hole we need to make a hole in the future. So now, if you want to make small hole, you can skip the six chains from the from our stitch marker. Plus the stitch with the slip uh, stitch marker, you we will have thirteen stitches. So that will be hole in our back. Now, if you want to use the second color, you can join with the second color. I will use the same. So we have to join into the seventh stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six. So into the seventh. Chain one. 
this counts as our first single crochet and in every stitch now we need to work one single crochet all the way around so what now when we know where when we started our row now we can count from this side one one two three four five and six and into the sixth we, we can put our marker stitch so one more one two four five and six and we need to work single crochet all the way around until our stitch marker so this will be our last stitch I've done the single crochets all single crochets all the way around so now I am at the end of my row before this uh, stitch marker chain one and now we need to turn our work and we need to start working next row and this time you need to make the slip stitch all the way around until the first single crochet so here you're supposed to be your last one single crochet then chain one and again all the way around chain one all the way around uh, so we're supposed to repeat that pattern for the uh, next 40 rows uh, 30 sorry we've done the 30 30th uh, row now we start 31st so in total whole back supposed to measure um, 61 rows make a six, uh, row yeah, 61 rows so make the next 40 30 rows and then i will show you what we have to do next i am at the end of my row 61 and now instead of making chain of one and start next row we have to make the chain of 13 because we've skipped the 13 st stitches on the row number 30 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 and now we are going to the first stitch of onto the next side and we need to make single crochet so now what we need to make we are making single crochet again all the way around in every stitch and then at the end in every chain as well When we've done the single crochets all the way around and in every, every chain, now we have to start the next one row by making single crochet and then we have to repeat making single crochet in each stitch all the way around. And we need to repeat that pattern for next six rows. So this is a count as a, our first and then we have to repeat that pattern for the next six rows. I've done my seven rows already so I decide to finish the last one in uh, this corner so as you can see my back is almost the same as my hanger so if you've got the bigger hanger you have to make your back a little bit wider what next we have to start 
sewing our work or making the slip stitch so I will turn onto the wrong side my back and I will start making a slip stitch so fold your back from the corners corners and now we have to start sewing so in every stitch we have to make slip stitch and then we are going to the next one and we are making another slip stitch but we need to remember that into the middle we have to leave few stitches without slip stitch because we need a hole for putting our hanger so you can measure exactly where you need to put your hole So I am in the model already, so I decide to skip the next six stitches. So instead making the slip stitch into the both loops from the both sides, we are making the slip stitch only on one side. In my back for the next six stitches. So one, two, three. four, five and six and then we need to count the next six stitches on the opposite side one, two, three, four, five and one, one, two, three, four, five and six and now we are going to the seventh one, two, three, four, five seventh and we are making the slip stitch through both parts of our back and we need to make the slip stitch to the end of our back so at the end we need to fasten off and cut the yarn okay we can hide our tail we don't have to leave the uh, very long tail and now we need to turn off our back for the right side again And now we can put our hunger inside. So next step we need to make some decorations. To decor our actually my bag I will use um, that flowers so now I will show you how to make it if you want to make it the same our work we need to start by making slip knot then chain of four one two three and four slip stitch into the first chain we've got a ring chain of two, one and two and now into our center 
of the ring so just here we need to make 11 half double crochets one two three four five so now when we've done 11 half double crochets the chain of two is a counts as one first double uh, half double crochet we need to uh, we need to leave this one color and we need to make the slip stitch into the top of our chain of two Then chain one and now into the first stitch, into the first half double crochet, we need to make five double crochets. One, two, three. four and five then into the next stitch we are making slip stitch and again into the next stitch we are making five double crochets one two three four and five and into the next one slip stitch so we need to repeat that pattern all the way around and at the end of our circle we're supposed to have six petals and now at the end we need to make a slip stitch into the last one stitch and into the first one as well now we can fasten off and cut the yarn. First and the second as well. And actually our flower is already done. Now we need to hide our tails and that's it. My back is already finished so I, I add the few flowers as I showed you so that's it for today thank you for watching and please subscribe